morning. Good morning. We're headed to Melbourne today to go to the booth. Are you excited? I'm so excited. We're gonna, I feel like it probably is kind of messy because I sold a lot of things and there were a lot of like big events there. So I feel like I need to go clean it up. Yes. <laughs> and I have some stuff to restock. I'm currently about to go through all of that Fiesta wear. I picked up in a reel and a YouTube short and all of that false graph I picked up. So gotta get it priced before we bring it. Are you excited? I'm so excited. That's a lot. Dalton was so nice. He got the big wicker shelf into the car. So we're taking that today. And also probably that big picture. I was gonna put that in the car, but I didn't know. I don't want you to forget to price it. Okay, I'm gonna price it and then we can put it in the car. I picked that up in the last vlog I posted. Is this for us? At Goodwill, the cart. Yeah, or is it going? I don't know, I haven't decided. It's not gonna go today if it is going. It's nice, we might keep it somewhere. <laughs> I know there are a lot of people who are interested in potentially owning antique booths that watch this, so I'm gonna show you how I kind of like enter things. Antiques and Uniques is kind of like a more high tech one than I've seen. I know a lot of antique malls just like write everything down and write on the tags, but Antiques and Uniques uses a consigner software system, so. Awesome. Antiques and Uniques uses a consigner software system so i just enter everything online with the price i want it and when i go i pick up my labels with barcodes on them and stick them on everything so i will show you how i do that once i start figuring out what i'm going to price these things at i just logged into my antiques and unis dashboard i just cleaned up a bunch of this stuff so i'm going to add it into the system i want to be more transparent with my booth so this is the number for the past it goes between the 15th of each month that's when the billing cycle ends so this was january 15th through today is february 9th so the cycle is almost coming to an end in six days so this is what my current balance is after they take their fees out rent is 260 a month so 260 is going to come out of this before i get a payout on the 15th but when I go, I can see, and these are the items I have already listed and active in my booth. So when I go to add a new item, I go to item entry and hit add, and I can just do it through here. So right now I'm adding these. I found, Dalton actually found these Fiesta Wear Latte mugs. That's so, to oh, Dalton found these, and it's his bolo he found, so he wants to, he's going to show you. All right, so check it out. Carly didn't want to pick these up because they were $5 a piece, and I was like, you know what, we're going to put these in the cart, we're going to look them up, because I've never seen these, like, these, uh, they're called latte mugs before, and she's entering in them into her system right now, and we had a little discussion, <laughs> because she wanted to price them at 15, and I'm like, that's like half a of piece. what they're worth. A, 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 a piece. piece. A piece. And I was like, let's do 20, and then she went to like 18. She just, she she decided to trust me, she's going to put them at 20, but I'm sharing with you guys this bolo. Just that one yellow one right there, 22.97 plus 13 shipping. Dang. And they sell all day. Like some of these obviously go for a little lower, you know, 17 plus 12, but that's still right. more than the $20 that she's charging. 17 plus 13, 20 best offer plus 12. Because you have to consider the shipping cost too. And with you that. also, another thing to look at here with anything on eBay, we're on the sold listings here and see how there's 101 results. Yes. We're going to filter because like all of these are the mugs that she has. Yeah. So like these, with the exception of that one right there, that one's another little bolo with a oh, little print on the Oh, look at that one, $49.95. Um, most of them are the latte mugs that she found and there's 101 sales. If we turn off sold listings and we go back to the search results, there's 104 listed. So it has almost 100% oh, sell through rate. And a lot of the ones listed are different ones you know that one maybe not so common ones so they're not super available so they're not super like there's 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 a lot listed but the sell-through rate is almost 100 percent. that is an amazing item to keep an eye out for at the thrift store or if you're in melbourne florida go to antiques and <laughs> G i got you a deal it's 20 dollars a piece <laughs> and if you are watching this and you want to deal on all four just shoot us a little message oh, yeah we can work something out i don't ship we don't so ship. if you're local, we don't ship. If you're local, we'll figure, we'll something, figure out. something out. We're probably gonna cut this whole thing out of the video. I will she's not. Like, That's too much work. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't ship because the booth is an hour and a half away, so I can't go get stuff to ship it. Um, but like maybe in the future I'll figure something out. But that's why I don't do that right now because I do have people ask about shipping. This is too far away. I can't easily go get stuff. If you catch me sometimes, maybe on a day I'm going to the booth and like I can grab it. Nope. Maybe. He said no, but maybe we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm still going to come up with that Etsy at some point. So there will be some stuff available, but anyway, I'm adding these into the system. So I'll like just put like Fiesta Wear Latte Mug $20 and there's four of them. So I'll put four and then hit submit. And then like later today when we go, all of these labels should be printed and ready for me to put on everything, ready for Dalton to put on everything while I'm organizing. <laughs> He's over there photographing his listings for the day. Sure am. 
This look at this garage setup. Best. So efficient. Can't beat it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna enter all of these in and then I have more stuff upstairs I have to go through and enter in and then I will check back in. Okay, I got all of the fiesta wear added in. Um, I decided to price all of these individually versus having sets because the colors aren't even. Also, I like the idea of being able to mix and match um, and like create your own set. So these were pretty easy to enter because I just needed like multiple of the same kind of price tag. So this, this is what it looks like. And then before I leave, I'll hit submit and then they'll print them. So here is all of the rest of the stuff that is also heading to the booth today. You probably recognize it all from either a YouTube video or a reel. I think I've uh, covered everything that I picked up here except for I did pick up these candlesticks at a Salvation Army recently I don't think I showed those but everything else I think you've seen in a video these I'm finally getting around to bringing with me I've had those sitting in my office for a while um, they were from our surf trip to Tampa but yeah I'm loving all of the strawberry stuff together even though it's not like the same print I think it looks cute so I'm gonna get all of this packed up in bubble wrap in that container and then check in later Okay, all of the stuff from up here is packed up and ready to go. I always bring extra candlesticks with me for the candlestick holders. I think there's two on the wall. I forgot to put candles in, so that's for that too. I think we're gonna head to the storage unit and get our shipping packed up so we can drop it off at a post office in Melbourne once we get there, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, we are all ready to go. Dalton has his shoe trees. Look at my shoe trees he sold. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> and then I have my inventory that has been photographed and listed and I just need to take it with me to the storage unit and some Etsy orders I'm shipping out and then my labels for today and then the stuff for the booth the car is gonna be full today car is packed car is packed it is jam-packed let's wait till we get our packages oh boy <laughs> I'm shipping two eBay sales and two Poshmark sales today. The Poshmark ones are, a, I sold this pair of Wild Fang black dress pants. These came from that Helpsy box I unboxed a few weeks ago. It was the deluxe box. These sold for $50 on Poshmark. And then I also sold a pair of Levi's jeans for $31 on Poshmark. They had, were the ones that had the patches on them. I think I also picked those up in a vlog or just a YouTube short, one of those things. You've probably seen I picked them. those up. Dalton actually picked those <laughs> out. He found those. Um, and then on eBay, both of the things I sold were flax pieces. Both were flax tops. Other things I got in Helpsy boxes, they came in that Faithful the brand flax and what was the other one? Visi box. So I sold two of those. One sold for $24 plus $4.99 shipping and then the other sold for $20 plus $4.99 shipping. So that is what I'm shipping today, plus those couple Etsy sales. I sold some decals and then some sticker sheets. Yay! Also, I wanted to shout out Kelsey really fast because she ordered um, a bunch of those Grateful For You stickers, the ones I have that come on a sticker roll versus the sticker sheet. So I want to say shout out to Kelsey because that order really made my day. So thank you. How many are you shipping? A lot. We're not going to have room. <laughs> We fit everything in the car. Just barely. Just barely. Carly was a tight squeeze, but. <laughs> Don't look at my hair. I think it looks good. Thanks, Misty. All right, we're gonna get some food probably and then and then get on the road. Dalton is being so nice and driving all the way there. Carly's being so nice and driving all the way back. Just wanna shout out the post office in Rockledge, Florida. Is that how you say it? Rockledge. Rockledge, Florida. Rock, Rockledge, Florida. They were so nice. They were like, you can just pull around back and we'll we'll take your packages. They were so nice. I feel like most post offices are nice. We just, Orlando sucks. Orlando's just really busy. If, if you're watching this and you're a postal worker in Orlando, <laughs> just smile. It's no, we have one lady. There's one post yes. office we go to in Orlando that Windermere. we like purposely go to, the one in Windermere, because the lady there is so nice. She's always the one that answers when you like ring the little doorbell. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. Also, Rockledge, Florida, so nice. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Packages are dropped off. We're going to stop at the Vieira Goodwill and then head to the booth. I will let you know if I find anything at the Goodwill. Maybe I'll film a little bit inside, depending how crowded it is. She's gonna film inside. I got some comments that you guys enjoyed the like commentary in the thrift store, so yep. I'm gonna work on it. <laughs> we just pulled up. Pull up. Skirt. I'm leaving that in. This is absolutely gorgeous. But then I picked it up and realized it was $30. Okay, I found some free people jeans for nine. They have like a flare bottom. They're really cute. 
some girlfriend collective leggings. I rarely find this brand. I'm excited about this one. And then these are both Levi's jeans. They're both the wedgie style. One is a skinny pair and one is a straight leg pair. I moved here from Ohio. I moved to Florida from there. This is so cute. We're vlogging at the same time. <laughs> what is it? <gasps> Wait, that's so cute. I'm bringing something to the booth today that looks similar to that. Administrative pencil. I don't know what it is, but it's it's up her eyes. It's, pr so it's pretty cool. I like the gold. I don't know. It's 1977. I feel like I would like older than that for that kind of thing. But thank you. <laughs> He's saying I didn't even see it. He didn't even see this. It's marked 1996. You were in front of me the whole time. Look how cool. We don't have enough friends for it, but like... I think it would go with my booth. Yeah. That doesn't exist yet. <laughs> it's, it's getting there though. It is. I filmed most of the stuff I picked up inside. The only thing I didn't was this little cat. You're in this. <laughs> was this little uh, pet dish holder. Um, I feel like some I read somewhere it's like good for your cat if it's like kind of elevated. So I have an elevated bowl, but not a water bowl. I had to stop using the fountain like long story and so I'm switching back to a water bowl so I'm just gonna put on that. It is so windy so I'm sticking my head in the car to film this but we just pulled up to the booth Antiques and Uniques. We have to go in and get a cart because we have so much stuff that we have to take in so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Shout out Dalton for always pushing the cart. I'm in charge of carrying the picture. I'm very impressed it's not messy. This is the only thing. <laughs> That's like scooted out. It looks like some people, I always put candles in the candlestick holders and you can get them, you can take the candles if you buy candlestick holders. Um, but I always have people that just leave some of them. The wicker shelf looks perfect right on the corner. It was the perfect space. I can leave the doors open so I can put stuff down there too. But I have to figure out where to move these things too. Probably back there. It looks like someone was looking at that mirror. Also that window thing that was hanging here that you can go see on my Instagram or I'll pop a picture up. That one sold pretty fast. Every time I come, there's something magically in my booth that belongs to another booth. And today it is this purse from booth F, um, F2. I am in row G. <laughs> I got all the mirrors in that new picture back here in the corner. I'm clearing off this. I think I want to put all the Fiesta wear over in this area. So I'm pulling, I'm pulling some of that stuff to the front here. So it's rotated out. Look who it is. <laughs> Since I want to keep all of the fiesta wear together back here, and I think I want to put all of the strawberry stuff together up front, um, I need space for some of this stuff. So I think I'm actually going to take the Christmas stuff with me and hold it until like November or that season and then bring it back. Shout out Dalton for always putting the stickers on everything for me. <laughs> this is the progress. Um, I decided I wanted the fiesta wear. I decided I wanted the fiesta wear to be in the like front and center, because um, originally I was gonna put it back there. It, it was kind of hidden, especially with this mug rack, and then I felt like it was too heavy <laughs> to put on the glass shelf. So we shifted that stuff here, and then the fiesta wear is all right here. And then this stuff is gonna be like strawberry stuff in the front. So this is the progress. Oh, I also shifted some of it over here. And I think I like the way that looks. Uh, and I hung this picture up on the wall so it wasn't blank. And I need to find a place for this. We're also getting somewhere with this shelf. I put all of the like boho vintage kind of themed things on this shelf. Okay, I just finished up. I think this is how we're leaving it. I don't know if I already showed you this, but I hung these candle things on the wall over here added some candles um dalton hung this up on the wall for me over here and i think that's it we're we ran out of room on this wall so i put some of the pictures down here for now but yeah this is one of my favorites that i'm surprised hasn't sold yet it's a little plastic vintage like picnic tray it's so cute also this sun tea jar i had it back there with those lemon crafts but i pulled it up front for the summer i know it's not even close to like prepping for summer but that was moved so i think someone was looking at it last time so i wanted to put it front and center because i'm surprised because i think i sold one of these on poshmark once and it went pretty fast and got a lot of attention so i'm gonna put that one front and center i was able to keep the christmas stuff here um i ended up making room not sure how i did that but ended up being able to keep this here
Dalton found a booth that had mystery boxes. I don't know what kind of booth it came from, but he wants to get one. They are $20. We're probably gonna open this over on his channel. He's also vlogging. I had to show you all the stained glass lamps. You know, one day we're gonna have a set. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wanted to show you one of my favorite booths at Antiques and Uniques. It's called Our Antique Apartment. And it all, it's always so put together. Kind of spooky, I love it. Dalton's into old books. You never talk about that. You have a bunch of old books. I have like six. You have more than that. Well, they're just expensive, but they're cool. <laughs> so he's always looking at them here. Yeah, this one's a little too more, a little too expensive for my blood. <laughs> but like, look how pretty. Look at that chandelier. There's a newer booth that's entirely dedicated to cows. I'm obsessed. Do you want to put this in the living room? It's kind of a vibe. Can you wear this cow? Please? Yes. I think you could pull Do you think so? Yeah. Hmm. I'll think about it. I just, I just love the cows. This booth has a whole shopping cart for Archie. It's so cute. I had to put the camera on because I found this Blendo set. I thought it was so pretty. And then Dalton goes, I just like, I don't like Blendo. I, it's not my aesthetic. It's so pretty. There's some in my booth too. So he just said he doesn't like something in my booth. Oh, that's cool. That probably took a while. We're on the hunt for a like Robert Ferber 12 Months of Flowers print that's March. I have a few in my booth that aren't March, um, but we've been looking for a March one for our apartment and someone said there was one that used to be here that might be here on the other side of the store. So that's what we're currently looking for. I found March. This one's like, it's kind of small and I don't love the green matting around it. How do you feel about it? That's a you decision. I just feel like it's, and it has some stuff on it. It's like, it, I think it's too small. I think we're gonna have to keep looking. Um, but this booth also has a February and an April. I can't remember which ones are in my booth, but you could probably find the whole set here. <laughs> the glassware in this one is organized by color. It's so pretty. This is the exact vase I showed earlier in my video at Goodwill. Goodwill was charging $30. It is 25 here. I found another cow booth. I feel like I need this sweatshirt. Same. Dalton found goosebumps. I don't have a picture of the ones I already have, but I don't think I have these ones, so I'm, I'm gonna grab them. Special edition, everyone tells to give you goosebumps. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. A banger. Booth restock is complete. We are gonna head to another Goodwill. I told them they have to watch your channel to see what's in the mystery box. Aww. So. Look at that self -promotion. I don't know when that vlog is gonna Shameless. come out though, so you just have to watch all of his videos. <laughs> I only found one pair of shorts at this Goodwill. It was another pair of Mate the Label. I found that Mate the Label hoodie in my last video, so it's interesting because I said in that video I never found it before. And now I found it twice in a row. Let's go! These, this was a pair of green shorts. It doesn't match the hoodie. Boo. This is the next morning. I did not pick up my camera again last night after we left the last Goodwill, we ended up driving home and then went like straight to bed. I was so tired. So I'm finishing the video now. I also wanted to mention that I'm posting this the same day that I'm editing it. I try not to do that. I try to be more prepared, but I'm doing that today. So um, I can tell you that I just posted a Rolo giveaway over on Instagram. So if you want to enter to win a Rolo wireless printer, I have mine right here. If you want to enter to win one of these, you can go over to my Instagram. It's at style.buy.carly. Um, all you have to do is make sure you're following me and roll out and comment on the post and you can enter to win. I'm choosing the winner next week, February 15th at 12 p.m. EST. So if you're watching this at a later date, the giveaway ends on February 15th. So if it's past that day, I'm sorry you missed out, but I will have more coming in the next few months. So just wanted to shout that out really fast. And if you enjoyed this video where I restocked my antique booth, talked about my antique booth, you can click on this video right here because it is also another antique booth video. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in the next one.